Hey guys, today I want to go over a couple of ways on how you can work on learning a human flag or a flagpole. And you can do it on a bar like this. Or a bar like this. I personally find it a little bit easier on a bar like this, but they're pretty similar. The only difference is, instead of your hands being like this, they're turning a little bit like this. When you do a flag, you want to keep your arms pretty wide, because the wider your arms go, the more structurally strong it is. And you can kind of think about it as being similar to the cross supports on a bridge. Also, the wider your arms are, the shorter your body is to have to hold out, and the easier it's going to be. The first two steps you can do is try and do a tuck flag, and then a straddle flag. Because on a tucked in a straddle flag, your body is going to be shorter and it's going to be easier to hold. When you're ready to move on and try a legs together straight body flag, you can either go from a tuck or a straddle flag and slowly extend out, or you can start higher up and lower down. Another drill you can do is with the gnat. And you can start off in a flag position with your legs resting on the mat. And you can either press or bounce off the mat a little bit and try and do some momentary holds. And you can also do this with a spotter where they're going to stand behind you and hold you. And you can either work on a static position where they're supporting some of your weight or they can bounce you a little bit where you're going to try and hold a little bit by yourself before they support you again. Awesome. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome. And as always, thanks guys for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And also feel free to comment and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.